This is a quick video showing how to replace an old dryer receptacle. If you are charging your Tesla and you see this message, chances are your receptacle is worn out or the wires in the back aren't tight anymore. Replacing a receptacle is quick and easy. Go to your local home improvement store and buy a brand new $6 receptacle. When you get home, Plug in your UMC to your old receptacle to tell you whether or not you have power. If the Tesla light comes on, you have power. Find the 30 amp double pole breaker for the dryer. In my case, it was on a quad breaker. Your panel will likely look different. Flip the breaker off. Make sure that the power is off by looking at the UMC light. It should be off. You can now remove the faceplate. I'm going to do all this with one simple flathead screwdriver. After all the screws are removed, simply pull the receptacle out, exposing the wires. It will be stiff. Pull hard. You can't break anything. My receptacle has the L-shaped neutral pin on top and the two slanted blades on the bottom. You want to pay attention to the L-shaped neutral pin. That's a ground wire I'm pushing back into the box. We don't use the ground wire with this kind of receptacle. So you'll note that the neutral pin has a white wire while the rightmost slanted blade is red and the leftmost blade is a black wire. Because of the paint overspray when they built the house, the black wire kind of looks more white, but you can tell it is just white paint on top of a black wire. It's the neutral wire you want to pay attention to. It should be white and make sure you connect it to the L-shaped neutral pin on the new receptacle. The other two wires could both be black or one red and one black. It doesn't matter which slanted blade each of these wires connects to. To make the UMC hang correctly, you want that L-shaped neutral pin to be on the top. Simply insert the wires one by one and screw them in tightly. Make sure the screw only grabs the bare wire and not the insulation. Tighten these screws down really tight. You can use a battery powered screwdriver for all the other screws, but not for holding down these wires. You must make sure they are tight. If your bare wires are black or charred, you might want to cut the ends off and strip some new bare wire. There's no magic pushing the receptacle back into the box. Bend some wires with your fingers to make it easier. Disclaimer, there's a good reason why electricians are apprentices for several years. Even on a simple job like this, an amateur can make crucial mistakes, such as having the unstripped portion of the wires be too long, and that might cause intermittent connection to the box's ground wire. So pay attention to the details, go slow, and think about each little step.
screw in the cover plate, flip the breaker back on, and you're done.